Youth today is very powerful. We have such a big voice, and so now is our time, and we're taking it. It is important that the youth get into climate action because the highest population of Uganda, mostly, if not Africa at all, is comprising of the youth. And the thing is, is that even though we might be young and we might be small, um, we still really deserve to have our voices listened to because the decision making, the, all of the decisions today are going to affect our futures the most. And also be humble in the sense that recognizing that this is something that most generations have, have to face their own challenges. What we're doing is natural to us. It's something that you just wake up and do because it's right. And the youth are definitely showing up for that right now. L'impression de faire quelque chose de juste, euh, d'être au bon endroit au bon moment et de ne pas dans 40 ans me dire merde, j'ai des enfants ou alors euh, qu'il y a des, des enfants que j'aime bien et merde, j'ai rien fait pour eux quoi. Je pense que c'est la chose la plus importante dans ma vie because if we don't have a climate to live in, there is nothing else we can fight for. So uh, we need to solve this climate crisis that we can move on as humanity. We are not naive, we exist and we have the right to be heard. We continue to listen to what we are hearing. We want to see Uganda as a nation be put on a straight pathway to a sustainable future. We need to go into a big movement that can have a big voice and we can push for uh, bigger solutions. It's not irresponsible to think of our future. It's not irresponsible to think that we are living in a mess and that we are going to be left with this mess. I think it's responsible to face the problem that we are facing. When you're an activist, there's not a lot of money in it. There's not a lot of fame in it. And most of the time, what you have, though, is community. You have people who are working together, who are standing up together, and I think that's what makes it so unique and so special. And then in doing that, you organize, and you start movements, and you start families that continue to grow, and next thing you know, you have a global movement. Ignorance is not a policy. The politicians are still ignoring us. And we are everywhere. We are all over the world right now, and we need to get bigger, grow more, so that there is one day that the politicians cannot ignore us anymore. And they need to show the courage that we are showing today. Le combat écologique, c'est un combat qui concerne tout le monde et plus que jamais aujourd'hui, je pense qu'il y a vraiment un besoin que tout le monde se saisisse de ça, aussi bien les hommes politiques, que la société civile, que les étudiants, que enfin voilà, tout le monde. And I uniquely believe that when we are bigger than who we are as individuals, that's when we will make the most effective, positive change. We need to connect back to our roots. We need to connect back to the earth and connect back to the ground. And I think realizing that the world is bigger than us. It's bigger than just our tiny, our small mindsets, and that everyone is connected, everything is connected. <laughs> Let me show, let me show, let me show, let me show.